Good morning to you, Ellie. I mean, I could say this has been a massive shock, but actually we've been talking about a rift between these two for a long time, but perhaps we didn't expect him to quit in this way. Yeah, I think it's a, an interesting one because we say he quit, but actually he agreed to step down. So that in itself speaks to the fact that it came... Was it that he you know, left before he was pushed. There must have been more to it than just, I'm gone, I've decided to go. The fact that he said, you know, we've come to a decision. Um, so I think that's interesting in itself. Also, the, the fact that it, the announcement came a day after his brother was sentenced um, for 12 years, 12 years in prison um, for the 11 counts of child sex abuse, I think is also telling but i think like you said the problem was you yourself ellie you said you tuned in to see what was going on people were really interested in their body language what was going on and they became bigger than the show in a negative way so it was overtaking from all of the topics that they were presenting people were just more interested to see how they were interacting what was really going on how well can they act their way through this and i think it got to a point where it just became no more but for me, I think it's really interesting because it's kind of like, what did he do wrong? Or what was different about what he did compared to what Holly did? Because it's all really kicked off from Q-Gate, if you remember when people said that they skipped the queue in inverted commas to go and see the Queen lying in wake. Um, when they said, well, you know, actually they were there for work, so they did it in a kind of journalistic capacity. That's when it seemed that the public turned on them in terms of did they see themselves as above the average Joe, which the important thing about those anchors, about anchors in general, is that people can see themselves in those people, that they're one of the people. But then now the fact that it's come that he's agreed to step down, why has he been so differently seen to Holly? Um, and it seemed that, you know, their rift came to a point where it had to be one of them that went. And I think people are almost asking, well, why was it him and not her? What was it? Um, and there were a lot of rumours going on behind the scenes about why that could be, why they didn't like each other anymore. And you've got to remember, as much as they presented on camera since 2009 together, they're actually really good friends off camera. These were a duo who holidayed together. Their families were very close. So this is more than just an on-screen partnership that's, you know, been torn apart almost or, you know, fallen apart, however you want to see it. So I think... It's interesting to me what's got on behind the scenes, what will come out about that, and also the statement that ITV put out, because they specifically said in their statement, we will see him again. He's going to be presenting the Soap Awards and he's going to have his own prime time show. So that's not ITV saying he's gone from ITV. That's ITV saying he and Holly can no longer work together. So that's yeah. a really interesting way to see it. It's interesting, though. I mean, I was wondering about this last night. I mean, this, this prime time show or whatever, you never know if it's only going to run for one season. And I have, to, I have to say, I think the soap awards that he's hosting and he mentioned on his own account, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? I mean, it's going to be uncomfortable almost to see him back on stage and know what everyone's thinking. Yeah, because obviously it's, it must have been how uncomfortable it must have been to even be in that TV studio this week with everyone tuning in, knowing that your every move is being watched to kind of be dissected of how you're interacting. But then to see you, in a, it's, it's, even though it's for, for public watching at home, it's the same in terms of always seeing you on screen. But for him, it's, a, it's an audience of, you know, however many hundreds slash thousands of people right in front of him, his peers, people that know them, um, that they interact with, again, at a personal level, not just a professional level. Because when you're in a TV studio, all you've got to deal with are, you know, the runners, you've got the production crew, it's a much smaller number of people, and you're not kind of as exposed in front of people in your face, right in front of you. So you're right, it's going to be it just to see how he deals with that. How is he going to interact with whoever he's on stage with at that point? So, yeah, and again, it, I just can't imagine the pressure of that leading into it, knowing that people aren't watching you to see how well you host the awards. People are going to see how you're interacting with other people. People are going to see, oh, how are you dealing with this after such huge news in your career? And also you have to remember, you know, He's the reason Holly Willoughby is even on this morning. He stuck his neck out when Fern Britton left this morning. He 
basically picked Holly and said, she's the one I want to co-host with. Because when it comes to being on camera as a duo, like Ellie mentioned before, it's the eye contact, it's the chemistry. You have to really, really get on with that person. It's very, very hard to fake chemistry. It's hard to fake who you are as a person, as a presenter. You know, you're not an actor. It's not a fake version of who you are. It's an extension of ver various parts of your personality. And to have an on-screen duo, especially one that's lasted that long, 13 years, is really, really hard to fake if you don't get on well. So the fact that he stuck his hand up, said, Holly's the one I want, we work really well together. And now, you know, he's stepped down, she's not gone anywhere. And I think for many, many years, people thought, and I think it was even said by them, the feeling was, if one of them ever stepped down, they both would step down. They couldn't do it with anyone else. It always has had to be the two of them. So it's really interesting to see now that he stepped down, who she will co-host with yeah. long-term in future. And I think people are watching out for that now. Well, it's very interesting, isn't it, Ellie? Because that statement from Holly Willoughby, it didn't go as far as to talk about that close friendship that you referenced. She says, it's been over 13 great years presenting this morning with Phil. I want to thank him for his opportunity to, with all of his knowledge, his experience and his humour. The sofa won't feel the same without him. I mean, I don't know about you, but for me, that read as, thanks Cold. for getting me to where I am. And I'm saying, and you're not going to be there, basically. Yeah, there was no mention of a friendship. It wasn't thanks to the humour. It, it, it was thanks to the humour, professionalism, that type of thing. But it wasn't thanks to the friendship. Thank you for getting me through the door. Thank you for, you know, having my back. And I know she's had his back. If you think about um, a couple of years ago when he came out as gay, she was there as his rock. And I guess there must have been so many things that have happened through the years that you're together, that you've dealt with as a duo. Um, and at this point, she's kind of gone, nope, my time's up, I'm done, that's it, we're over. Which is really sad. And I think for people to know that, like I said, he handpicked her, he got her the job. I don't know if it sits very well for a lot of people to think that she, it seems like she's kind of just gone, washing my hands of you now, I'm done, bye, thanks for a good time, but bye. Um, it seems like you said, Ellie, it seems a little bit cold. I'm hoping that from a, from a personal perspective outside of this, that friendship can be salvaged because it's never nice to lose a friend, especially after that long. Um, but at this point, you know, like I said, there are a lot of rumours behind the scenes at the moment in the showbiz world. I can't go into too much about what's been going on behind the scenes. I think there is more to come this week and I think more will come out because it always comes out in the wash.